Hey guys, what's up? The chairs are back. Pretend is sitting here. He's not here yet because today we are gonna be testing out some very over the top, luxe, expensive ingredient flavored chips. And we're also gonna be testing the food in which they are sort of created after. Because I'm gonna be honest, most of these I haven't actually had in my lifetime. They feel like the foods of, um, you know, people who live on yachts. That Those are the people that eat <laughs> these kinds of foods. I am not one of those. So I'm kind of excited because there's two parts to this video. Not only are we gonna taste test the chips, but we're gonna taste test the ingredient to see how close it is to that specific product. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more like taste testing kind of videos in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. And now you know what? Let's bring in, uh, let's bring in Christopher. Do some taste testing. Christopher, you ready? Fancy chip time. Your chair is back. I like my chair. I know. I didn't even have to bring it. Well, it's I put it here earlier. Well, that's true. I think, you know what? We're gonna start with this one right here because this is the one I've never Ooh. had these, but yeah, yeah, I know, right? So we're gonna try truffles. It doesn't smell like, I was expecting it to have like a very interesting smell. Truffles are very expensive. And um, I don't know how much we spent on this like, Little jar. $30? Yeah, I think it was $30 for this like little <laughs> chunk of truffle. It was two truffles. You're right, that one that looks like a raspberry is also part of the deal. We had to cut open the bags because uh, that's how expensive and luxe they are. Yeah, They're like, couldn't... you can't, you can, you can open it. But these are the, the chips, the black truffle chips. So are we gonna try the ingredient first and then the chip? I think that probably makes the most yeah, sense. I yeah, I think so. I wanna put this on pasta. Mm, I mean, now that we mm, have it, I'm gonna put it on pasta. Sure it makes it pasta. You ever eaten a truffle before? Maybe, oh, but like, I'm just having this like little, little piece right here. Oh, now I smell it. No, if I like the smell of it. It's very like, um, earthy. Ready? Boop. I don't know what to make of that. Very, very mild. It is, but there's flavor there. It's a little earthy, a little mushroomy. I mean, they are truffles, but like- It's delicate. It's a very light, like if I was blindfolded and you had given me that, I'd be like, I have no idea what that is. It's an interesting contrast. I didn't realize the, the outside was so like pebbly and the inside so delicate. It doesn't like melt like a, like a mushroom. We tried to do like little slivers. Apparently you need like a very special carving thing. You gotta make them real thin. All right, so that's a truffle. I was expecting more, I'll be honest. All right. Chippo time. First, we need to smell it. I kind of get a, a mild semblance of that flavor, mm. I guess. All right. Cheers. Oh. Whoa. That's like, we ate a whole truffle. Yeah, that is a strong truffle flavor. And it like hits you in the face as soon as you eat it, and then it's more mild towards the end. I was going into this expecting it to be like a very mild flavor. So I'm like, yeah, there's just gonna be a chip and then it just like smacks you in the face. But there is some artificialness to it, right? Like it's- A hundred percent. It is It is a thousand truffles like upped, but it's not that, that um, you know how strawberries have a very like artificial strawberry flavor? It's not like that though to no. me. You know what I mean? It was a well done imitation. Mm. It's just really amped up. Yeah, it's weird. It tastes like it, but it's kind of like a salty chip. I don't mind these, to be honest. I like the chip. I, I don't think I'm a big fan of truffle on its own, but like, it's probably real good and stuff. Yeah, who really has truffle on its own? We should probably put that in pasta that's, or something. That, that's the people who live on yachts. Uh, they, they just love truffles. <laughs> that's their chips. Like grapes. Mm, delicious. Now we're gonna go on to another very bougie, over the top, expensive flavor, and that is Hemon Iberco. Did I, did I pronounce it okay? I think I did. Is it the most expensive ham you can get? Like it is some intense process that goes through. It's very specific. It's like, aged. Yeah. In a very specific way. I don't know a lot of the nuances that go into it, but um, it is very over the top and very expensive. So that's what it looks like. Very thin, very delicate. Very like ham, hammy. Mmm, <laughs> mm, hammy. All right. Like I'm not a big fan, but like I'm also not a big fan of ham, I can appreciate the craftsmanship of it. Like it's it's very, like it melts in your mouth. A little bit funky in that aged kind of way. Funky's really the good. wrong word. That just oh, gives no. it the sense that it's like, it's gone real bad. It's got like an, a little bit of like a kick to the flavor. Mm. That like some depth, mm. you know? That's really good. Yeah. The chip. Emon Iberic. Iberic. I thought it was Iberico. Is it different? I don't know. But uh, this is the chip. This is when Chris and I went to the store 
to like buy some other stuff. We were looking for ingredients for another video and uh, came across this. And I was like, well, that could be fun. I want to try that. Fancy trip video. Fancy trip video. I cannot smell anything in that. Like, it's like very mild. <laughs> like, can we just stuff our faces in the bag? It. Really? I can only smell expensive things. <laughs> okay, let's try it. <coughs> Again. That escalated quickly. That escalated so quickly. I was like, oh, it's a very mild. I'm like, like right in your face. That's crazy. These are really good. Oh, good. Because I don't like them. Mm. It's a personal preference thing for me with those. Um, I just don't like the flavor. But they're... Chris hang on. Hang on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do, do your thing. Christopher. Now it's a fancy party. These could be hand passed. Those, uh, yeah, no, aren't my favorite. But wow, they pack a punch if you do like the flavor. And you should. Apparently I'm I'm all off today. You want to do another one? Yes. I have another one. Okay, okay. This one is um, a flavor that we do know because I enjoy sushi. You enjoy sushi. And that is wasabi. Now this isn't actual wasabi, yeah. which I just, I actually learned this recently is that wasabi is like really hard to get here. So this is technically horseradish flavored like wasabi. So I'm technically, I guess, tasting something that's supposed to taste like wasabi that is supposed to taste like wasabi. I wonder if the chips are actual wasabi. I wouldn't think so. It's probably just a simulated flavor, but it'd be interesting. Again with the thick, cut, like the thick premium bag. It's gold on the inside. Look at that. Look how shiny and gold that is. I need to know the people who like just open these up to sit and watch Netflix. <laughs> yeah, it just says wasabi flavor. Mm, aroma. Oh yeah. Oh, it's kind of tingles your nose a little bit. <laughs> Stings the nostrils. Ooh. That's two Anchorman references. What was your other one? That escalated quickly. Oh, I missed really it. really kicked up a notch. <laughs> it did, didn't it? So I only have like a little bit here because again, it's a very intense flavor. And again, I wish I could get real wasabi, but like we looked, it, it really has been a difficult thing to find. I have a spoon. Me too. It's the prettier spoon. You and win. it'll change color if the wasabi is too hot. So what's your spoon do? Technically it is hot. So if that spoon change doesn't change, I'm gonna have some words <laughs> for munchkin. I'm really scared. This is gonna be so, in, it's gonna be intense. I don't think I've ever had like just wasabi on its own. This looks different from the wasabi you get yes. with sushi. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Powerful. Ahem. Okay, it's better now. It hits you really hard for a minute. I swear I'm not, like that makes me, <laughs> your eyes are watering. Water, yeah. It's okay, it's just wasabi. I was just thinking back to the wasabi I ate. Now I know that it's horseradish. That's all I can taste. I really wanna know, if you've tried real wasabi before, can you tell me what it tastes like in comparison to that? I'm genuinely very curious now. Ooh, they're kind of green. It's fun. I like it. Cheers. Mmm, true to flavor. But unlike the first two, it's a more subtle version. I was just gonna say, it's not as like hit you in the face. It's more of like a, well-rounded throughout the chip experience. Not like nothing, nothing, <coughs> and then it's done. Like this is just. That's tasty though, I like that. Mm -hmm. I think these are my favorite so far. I wonder how expensive wasabi is actually. I'm curious. Would it be the most expensive ingredient we have today? I don't know. Ooh, that could be the next one. That one was expensive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For like that little thing. Oh man. I just want to keep eating these though. These are delicious. They're a little bit, I don't know this is, Whoever the manufacturer is gonna be really mad at me. But you know Mrs. Vicky's jalapeno chips? I don't know them that well. A bit like that. Ooh, brave, huh? I am. Did you even get anything on there? Yeah, I did. I'm just a little bit try it. That's actually very good. Okay, you put a lot on. You real brave. That is good though. It's really good. I'm not weeping openly this time, <laughs> so that's good. Okay, now we're going on to the most expensive ingredient that we bought today. Maybe, is this the most expensive ingredient that we've ever bought for a video? Probably that primer. We're not gonna talk about How was that, by the way? Good. I still have it and I use it. Talking about a makeup primer that we bought for a video. It's very expensive, I don't wanna talk about this. But for food, for food though, I think this is the most expensive. Remember that ramen though? Oh, that was good ramen. Yeah. Why haven't you made that again? The aforementioned cost. <laughs> also time <laughs> is good though. Okay, we need to get that, in that ingredient now. Anyone have any guesses? Don't skip ahead. 
If you can guess what it is, leave a comment. See, see if you're right. Hang on. Classico. You I'm, already know what it is. You can't guess. I'm betting that they already know because it was the thumbnail. Well, don't give it away. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do with you? You are going to use that as the thumbnail, aren't you? Well, obviously I'm going to use it as the thumbnail. It's the best one. So this one, the expensive one. I'm excited for this. I'm a little scared and I, I've never had it before. And I was just, I don't know. It's, it's expensive. And it is caviar. This is the quintessential rich per person food. I grew up within a stone's throw of the Baltic Sea and my parents never gave me caviar. <gasps> I assume it was just like a dime a dozen at the grocery store <laughs> and they didn't give it to a 10 year old. So we have our, ooh, it's so beautiful and also terrifying. What's it smell like? Like the sea. <laughs> yeah, it does, oh, that smells good. You really do need a monocle and a top hat yeah. when you do that. And we have little spoons. Hang on, I faked you out. One of these is mine. <laughs> How else could you eat caviar? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. What is this, a teaspoon? I think we got it in a teaspoon, <laughs> but I saw a golden spoon. I was like, yeah, that's happening. <gasps> Look at that, oh, it matches. Oh, now I feel real fancy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm really excited. Okay, okay, okay. Dig in there. I don't want too much. This is like $7 worth. And I just know that these chips are gonna taste like I just took this entire thing and dumped it in yeah, my mouth. That's gonna be powerful. That's gonna be intense. All right. To wealth. <laughs> did you have your pinky out when you of did that? Of course I have my pinky out. I'm a man of distinction in class. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. That like melts. I was a little worried about the texture. Oh no, this is not bad as the guy, aren't you? I get it now. I know why people like this so much. I wasn't expecting it. It, 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 it me. I have no words. It Breaking news, caviar is good. You may quote me. That is so good. <gasps> I want to put that on a chip. Is that allowed? I don't know. It melts in your mouth. It tastes a little salty and a little bit like the sea, but in the best way possible. It doesn't taste mm, fishy, doesn't no. taste... It's just like this mild undertone of fish, but in like the most expensive understated way. I feel like I'm, I'm really trying to explain <laughs> each of these flavors, but like it really, that is really good. I guess we need to try the chip now. It matches my spoon. Also the, the thing, oh, it was meant to be. Does it smell like caviar? Not in the slightest. Oh, whoa, uh -oh. no. It smells like barbecue chips. It does smell like barbecue chips. What? I was gonna say that. I thought you would laugh at me. <laughs> Look at. Look how like orangey they look because of the gold. Oh, there we go. Now we can see it. Look at that. It's just so fancy. The whole experience. These chips look like thick too. Are they as orange? Oh. No. Disappointingly pale. Ooh. All right. Here we go. I was gonna say I get it. Yeah. Wait. There it is. Yep. It's there. A lot stronger of like a fish flavor though versus this. I think it's the least successful imitation of the four so far. I get what they were going for, but I guess if it were easy to replicate caviar flavor, caviar wouldn't be so expensive. It says here, a sophisticated snack of delicate flavor and marine aroma of black caviar pearls. I just get kind of fishy flavor. It's such a thick chip. I'm taking another little bite before I put it away though. Is it as good as the first bite? Somehow even better because I knew what to expect. Hmm, mm. interesting. That's really, really so good. This is the best ingredient we've tried so far, but the least successful chip. Don't worry, there's more. This is a cured cheese flavor. And that to oh. me is just like very, that's something that they, they serve at their parties. It's not just like crackers and cheese. No, no, cured cheese. I really hope that the flavor matches up. It's gonna be like I ate a whole pile of this cheese. Look at this. I feel like if there's one that they should be able to replicate successfully, it's cheese. And <laughs> they've done it before. It's not gonna be Cheetos, but you know. <laughs> so good. That is so creamy, rich. It's got that nice tangy Gouda flavor to it. Slightly nutty though from oh. the curing, yeah. Mm. That's really good. Now the Kapow brand, which is now what I'm calling it instead of its real brand name. Ooh, it's got a little, a little smoky cheese flavor in there. Oh yeah, that's there. Yeah, okay, okay. This looks like a very mild chip. Also, no gold. Yeah. 
Honestly. How disappointing. Cheese flavoring. Yeah, they're not gonna stick a hunk of cheese on there. Well, I was wondering if they would like dehydrate cheese or something like that. Whatever. That's what we should do. Dehydrate some cheese. I can see that. Put it on Cheetos. Dangerously <laughs> cheesy. That's exactly what he would say. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is Gouda. Yes. In an artificial very way. Very artificial. That's the most artificial of them. I see where they're going with it. It's very cheesy, but I, I feel like I'm so used to that artificial cheese flavor and chips that I'm just like, yeah, that's, the, that's for sure it. But you're right. It is very artificial. That's like mac and cheese powder. They got lots of dusting on them, which I really happen to like, but I wouldn't want to eat more than like a couple of those. It's not know? subtle. Mm -mm. Now on to... A very fit. Well, this is your favorite category of food. It's not food. It's a seasoning. Salty. Salty. And this is not just any kind. This is the, what is it, black salts? Black sea salt. It is black and it looks like sea salt. It's probably just salt with like charcoal or something. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what they do to it, but I feel like we need to taste test it and see if it's any different. Do you need to be sprinkling this on? Foods, I don't know. It actually would be a cool finishing salt. You know where this is gonna go? On the truffle pasta. <gasps> yes, that is exactly where that's going. Check out Insta story. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna grab like a little morsel of it. I'm gonna grab a big morsel of it. And you're gonna hit yourself in the face with some salt. Oh my gosh, it's so much salt. I just yelled, yelled at you, I'm sorry. <laughs> For science. For science. I need to do a different hand. I am. Um, I had the Gouda on my hand. I'm gonna use my fancy caviar spoon. That is what that spoon is known as now. Forever. Mm -hmm. Big chunks, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Good as a finishing salt. Mm -hmm. I don't know, am I getting anything? Hang on, let me get my salt crock. You try it, and okay. then I want you to put one of them in each hand. I'll one in to, each hand? Yeah, and I'll try to tell the difference. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, so there we go. One in each. This is your entire week's <laughs> Allowance of salt. Mm -hmm. My drum roll. They tasted exactly the same. Really? I think oh. that the first one tasted a bit more like my taste of the black sea salt, but ah, uh, uh, boy. So I'll say, I'll say my right hand was the black, but. Very good. Okay, That's... but that was, I mean, I'm mean, gonna tell you that was, that was like 51 49 on that. Maybe it's like a good extra over the top salted. Chippo. This is a different brand. Cooked in avocado oil. Okay. Right. Ooh, avocado with the black sea salt on top looks fancy. It smells like salt. It smells Grease. like a greasy chip, yep. Is that black or is that like green? I guess it's black. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Cause it's kind of like that. Yeah. Cause that's kind of gray. All right, I'll allow it. We're not impressed. We're not impressed. Can I confess something? Yes. I like plain chips, like regular. Like regular flavor. No. Yeah. No, I like the really over the top chips. I want something that like hits you in the face with flavor. I cannot stand regular chips and this is exactly what that is. Just a hint of salt, not over the top. They're it's just, nice it chip. tastes like grease. Mm. Mm. I don't like it. Cause then you can like get like nice dips and stuff like yeah, that. But don't we, no, we don't what are do you gonna dips? do? Dip a all dressed chip or a barbecue chip? No, oh, never. Because you don't have to do that. Because you can't. I could if I wanted. Okay, this, like, I don't like it, but like, clearly you do. I don't like it any more than a normal kettle chip, but. Yeah, you don't need to go to this level. But that was kind of foreseeable. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so now I need to know what your favorite chip was and your least favorite chip. Having been through them all, I have to retry one to make sure that it's my favorite. I already know what mine is. I'm just gonna tell you, my favorite chip was the wasabi one. I liked it because it was like a nice flavor all the way through the chip and it had a little kick, wasn't too aggressive. I liked it with the wasabi, that was very good. But that brand that had the jamon and the black truffle, that was, they really hit you with that flavor, which yeah. was impressive. It's the jamon chip for me. That's your favorite? Yep. Yeah. Oh. But the wasabi is a clear number two, and depending on the day, I could go for that as well. That's yeah. a really good chip. That and I you're right, them. with the wasabi on it, that's fantastic. It was really, really good. Okay, now least favorite. The Gouda. 
the cured, yeah. the cured cheese. It was just too artificial. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't very good. I didn't like the black sea salt one that that was expected though. It was a greasy chip. You yeah. get those for a lot less money. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Value was bad, but it was good. What was your favorite ingredient? Ooh, oh, that's yeah, that's the caviar. Yeah, it would like that's not even a question. This was fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining me for this. No, this is a, this is a enjoyable experience. We need to get dibs in for the next one. Maybe yeah, like some. Yeah. Some cereals or some ch more chippos or I don't know. I don't know what you, we should taste next. A little bit of gouda. Do your outro on there. <laughs> Dip the gouda in the salt. Don't do it. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Dip it in wasabi. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so if you have any ideas on what we should taste test next or like us or we'll throw dibs in here too because I've been missing dibs. Need to get dibs back. And make sure you like this video, subscribe, check out these videos on the side in case you've missed any. We just did like we did a fry taste testing one, which was super fun, yeah, and um, yeah, it was that was tasty. Truffle fries? Oh, <gasps> yeah, that's happening. Truffle that might be lunch. Fries. I'm just saying, maybe some gouda. We'll just throw all the ingredients yeah. on there. But yes, check out the videos on the side. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Love you all. Mwah. Bye.